Hi guys. Let's try this again. Okay, so we're actually going to show you this meal, well this veggie that we had, this veggie dish that we had. We're trying to see if it's going to go. <laughs> Is it working? Oh good. good we're working. Good. Okay. So we actually went to a Traeger and we were laughing about, tell them. Yeah, we were um, we were at the Traeger Stove event. We used to call Stove Stop. And I'm sure I had it wrong from a Frenchman. No, who you knows? said that a Frenchman told you. <laughs> I, and that's, so we've always been calling it Stove. No. I mean, Stop. Stop. Stove is the right, correct name. Isn't that interesting? But stove, you guys probably have called it the right way. Right. So stove is correct for this. Anyway, what's so great about the stove is that these can go on the, in the Traeger. Well, they can also go in a barbecue in the Traeger, right. in your oven. You can do just about anything with these. <laughs> so anyways, with it being spring and summer, we just want more fresh, right? We want to be like... The, when did the farmer's markets open and all those fun things? Oh, goodness. They, get, they start at the end of May. Yeah, so it's like, I don't know. I just love when the farmer's markets and all that open. So we want to share this because this goes good with any kind of meal that you're making. It does. It's such clean eating. And for us, what does clean eating mean? For us, it means eating as natural as possible. And that's what really the Food Nanny's doing as well as the variety yeah. of food. But that's really what we've okay, always well we're gonna been get, about. Yeah, we're gonna get more into that in a second, but we wanna show this to you quickly. And then we're gonna talk more about the clean eating. Um, I, I don't know, the portion control talk is kinda going crazy right now. <laughs> I feel like everybody is like, no, we wanna hear more, more, more. So we're gonna talk about it more and try to explain as best as we can. Okay? Explain more of our lifestyle that we've been doing forever. Right. Okay, so tell them, Mom, we've got asparagus. We've got fresh asparagus in this. So I love this because it's solid green. Now, I know on Sunday I added some carrot to it, but you don't have to. I love the solid green. And, of course, every time you sit down, you need to look at your plate, and if there's not anything green on it, you need to run into the fridge and either get, yeah, some, exactly. either get some, some kind of great lettuce, um, arugula, some kale, some romaine, whatever it is, or some green beans or asparagus, get something green on that plate. Yeah, exactly. Because it's so important for clean eating as well. So, and you can also add bacon to this, which bacon is so good, but my mom didn't want to show that today. Yeah. So, okay, you know the way that you actually break, if you let, instead of cutting an asparagus, if you let it break the way that it wants to break, naturally, naturally, then you get the part where this is just too chewy. How many of you ever had that where it's just too not, tough, too tough, too chewy? So we've broke this. Sorry, I'm like trying, let me push this back a little bit. And then either with a knife, you could cut it up or with kitchen scissors. We're just going to kind of like the bite size piece in the bite size. And then we've got our fresh green beans and our fresh snap sugar piece. And we love them the way they come in these bags because they're already washed for you. So it's so easy. They're clean. They're and clean. Washed. They're ready to go. Okay. So now with this, my mom likes to talk about how this thing, but it never comes off every time I ever do it. So you can either cut off the sides if you want, or just put it, or throw just them in. throw them in, whatever. So we're just adding asparagus, but yeah, I mean, if you've got a little bit of this going on, try to get that off. So the sugar snap peas, and then the fresh green beans, and they come already cleaned, already the ends are already cut off these, and. All you have to do is just take them. And then just cut these ones more into like bite size. Just green beans. break them. Break them. Just break them. Anyway, so then we do this, and then we're even going to add some peas. So these are frozen peas. So just a few peas. So the bacon was really good with it, but this is so good alone. And then show them how we're going to do it. You absolutely don't need the bacon. Look how beautiful that is. Okay? And then we're just going to add some a little bit of olive oil. And then we'll add our French salt, our coarse French salt. You guys, okay. it's yummy. Just like that. And then I love to add a little bit of tarragon. So dried or fresh tarragon. I love the taste of tarragon. So I bet do you I. do too. I, I can't get enough tarragon. And then fresh ground black pepper. And we'll I just... Think you're out. <laughs> here, let me see. And then we'll just mix this up. 
And <laughs> that's funny. We'll just mix this up and put, put it right into the oven. And we're going to check this. We'll show you what it looks like. I can't like. even tell you the flavors of oh, all of it. It was so good. And nothing is easier nothing. than preparing no. vegetables like this. No. Roasting them or putting them on the Traeger. Yeah. And closing the lid. The Traeger's electric. It's amazing. It's like a second oven. Yeah. And we're going to show tell you more about that throughout the week. Yeah. Especially this Saturday coming up is uh, Traeger Day. So we're going to put this in the oven at 425 and we'll check it in 15 to 20 minutes. So let's just put that in the oven. Okay, here. Yes. Anyways, you guys, is the video working? Nobody's saying, and I, I hope it's working. Our connection's been so funny. But anyways, it's a very good, just easy side dish that you could serve along with anything, well, right? Well, it goes right into what Okay, wanted. good, good. I was like, oh no, is our video connection bad? Yeah, we want it to go right. It, it's a perfect um, lead in with these fresh veggies. A, with what we wanted to talk about today. Yeah. We've had so many DMs and so many questions about clean eating. What is clean eating? For us, okay, good. Um, in, for us in the Food Nanny books, not we, only clean eating, but it's more about the portion control yeah, too. Well, so the lifestyle. Gonna, the lifestyle and the portion, yeah. Yes, and clean eating basically to us means eating as natural as you can get. So our Camus flour, our ancient grain, is just about as natural as you can possibly get. Organic, pure strain, never been modified, it's amazing. And then our French salt, completely natural, never even been washed. No. <laughs> it's right from the sea and there's no flavor like it in the world. So two items that are so natural and so clean eating, um, which is part of our diet. Another one is olive oil. Which Someone says really quick, if they add carrots or potatoes with it, can it do it, they have to cook it longer? Maybe just a little longer. Yes, you would, carrots or potatoes, but cut them, dice the potatoes small, yeah. and the carrots small too, so it won't take too long and overcook the rest of the vegetables. So if they're really thinly, you know, um, diced. either yeah. diced or chunked or sliced. Yeah. So here's another completely natural item. Um, of course, fresh ground black pepper is great, um, but these are our basic items. Right. So, clean eating, let's talk about, let's talk about portion control and our lifestyle and what we really do and what we believe in. There are so many diets out there, so many fad diets, and people more than ever, Lizzie, are concerned about their health, don't you think? Oh yeah. I think people more than ever are concerned about their health, about staying in shape, staying fit, yeah. because exercise is a big part of staying healthy as well. And how do we do our exercise? It's basically through walking and just cleaning, and walking. Being just super active, you know, yeah. just with, I'm involved with my kids and yes, the cleaning and the walking and just trying to stay as active as you can, but no, we're not sitting there and trying to stick on of like a workout regimen, do you know what I mean? But we do love to walk, yes. yes. So exercise is a big part of it. But for us, our lifestyle has revolved around a few things, and we want, we want to talk about those. Also, we don't want to for, let you forget that in the Food Nanny books, um, we talk about clean eating, we talk about our, our Which portion she's so control. proud about. She is yes, so, I am so. Because every time we ever talk about this, she goes, nobody's reading the books. Nobody <laughs> is reading these. Because she really does. These books are more than just recipes. And they're recipes. old. They're old. Yeah, even, they're old. We even have in here portion size and visual cues on what is a good portion <laughs> size for you to use. Um, it's all here in the Food Nanny books. And these books are old now. And so you can know that it's true that we've been living this lifestyle forever. Well, I think that's why we always constantly say that what we're creating and teaching really is a lifestyle that's going to last you forever. It's not something that's fad that just goes away quickly. You need to tell the story really fast about the girl. Oh, okay. And, and, and I'm going to talk what about that in one said. second. But it's our food is not health food. It's good food 
in healthful portions. So that's that's kind of our mantra. Our, but it, but there is a lot of healthy food oh, too. Oh yes. yes. Well yes, but we yes we have so much. But I mean everything is okay. Tell the story really fast. Things. Tell the okay. story. So um, I have a dear dear very close friend who's been on keto for um, probably a year um, or more, trying it on and off, on and off. And I know that keto works for a lot of people. But when you go off it... Well, keto did work for and her. And keto was... And she was loving yes. it and praising it. Yes. And she was losing all this weight and finally feeling so good. And then what happened? And then when she went off it, she gained weight. She gained the weight back and even a little bit more. And so she called me and she said, what is your diet? Because I've tried to go back on keto and it's difficult. It's very, very difficult. So she said, tell me what is it again? What are your rules that you stick to? Um, and Because she feels like it's messed up her body too, right? Yes. She, it's yes. messed up the metabolism. Yes. And the thing is, is I've had four kids, right? And I swear to you, it is so genetic on what you gain because you would be thinking that I went at 2 a.m. and got a double cheeseburger and an extra large fry and I was just scarfing everything because I put on 65 pounds almost every single time, but I would always then plateau. It was the weirdest thing. Like I'd be like, oh no, oh no, it's gonna get more. And then I would stop. But every time I've lost that weight and I've always done it in your rules, in the way that my top mom taught me, and it might take the extra time to get it off, but you're getting it off the right way. And that's the thing is with these keto and the whole thing, you, you might be getting this satisfaction and gratification and you're losing all this weight super quickly but it's something once you go back and you start introducing your body back to flour into sugar and to whatever else you love and crave the body then doesn't know what to do it's like oh no you were you know it's holding on to different things yes, and things like that it is it is and the thing is is we need we all love all foods. And so learning to eat them in portion control is really the best. But the key is a variety. It's the variety of food. And that's why I came up with the theme nights. Because the hardest part about dinner is trying to figure out what to cook. So with the theme nights, say I'm going to have maybe on comfort food night or Sunday fried chicken, which we might have a couple of times a year. Well, the next night, I'm, I'm, going, going, to be, lean. I'm going to be eating lean. Fettuccine Alfredo, the same on Italian night. Yeah. The next night, I'm eating lean. So as you make your meal plan, you're going with the flow of introducing all foods and all varieties to your family but you're cutting back after eating something that's got a lot of fat in it or is super heavy like fettuccine alfredo the next night you're eating more lean and so it's the variety of food if you will make a meal plan it is key but um, not but not just that it's like the variety of food but when you know that you're gonna be having something good like the next day, I I don't think that I, and the next day and the next day, do you know what I'm trying to right. say? I it don't feel like I overindulge all the time. I mean, I'm human and there's days where I eat way more cookies than I normally right. do the day before. Okay? But on or a whatever. consistent basis. But on a consistent basis, if you know that you're enjoying these yummy foods all the time, you're never going to just go crazy. It's like, no, I can enjoy my meal tonight. And then you look forward to the next night. Because it's going to be another Because it's another meal. amazing meal. And that's the thing about meal planning. You already know what you're going to be eating, number one. Number two, you're prepared. You will have the food in the house prepared for dinner. And so I just think it helps you so you're not in this mindset of, well, okay, I can only have this one delicious meal because it's the last meal that I'm going to be enjoying. And so for the you, next you tend to overeat weeks. it. You well, yeah, you to tend to overeat, overeat it. Especially men. If men, if you cook once a week for your husband and it's a delicious meal, one that he loves, he's going to overeat because he doesn't know, he's not sure when he's going to get the next one. Well, it's the same for your kids. If your kids only know that you make cookies once every blue moon, they're going to go crazy. My kids, I have cookies out all the time. I'll have candy out all the time. You can come to my house. I'm always like a bakery most of the time. You can come over. There's always something. They never go crazy with it, ever. 
forever because, because they it's know available. it's available and that they're going to have it again. And that's the thing. There's one thing that's bugging me about these this clean eating and the, the, the new fad thing that's going on. There's a lot of things that bug me. But one of the biggest things that bothers me is I feel like everybody out there is trying to teach you or your husband what you should be eating and what your meal plan looks like. Well, what happens to the kids? Like seriously, what? think about it. Because you know that the kids are not going to be eating every meal that you're preparing like that. If you're making the one chicken and rice and then you're eating that six nights a week, do you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. The kids are not going to eat that. So what is happening to the kids? I even had a follower write in and say that the kids are actually now the ones that are more having a weight problem because they're fending for themselves. They're going to the freezer that's chucked full of all the Costco, Costco food, food. Yeah. the gross taquito, the gross pizza. I even had another follower tell me that they were laughing their heads off because it's the so hard dogs. for them. No, it, it's so hard for them to get dinner on the table. So their son has the Domino's Pizza Man on delivery. He brings the pizza. They have the credit card on file, and he's just ordering pizza. So that's the thing is it's like if you can just learn that this is a lifestyle and what she has literally taught me my entire life and what she teaches everybody it, it just works. It works for everybody. And it teaches you how to eat healthy and never then afraid of eating the French fry and the cookie and the cakes and everything. Sorry. Yes. It's, it, it's perfect. It's Sorry all, to go off. No, no, no. It's perfect because if we don't show our children to eating by example, the one most important thing we can do for our family is to make a priority of putting dinner on the table and bringing that culture back to where it belongs, but it's also being the example on what to eat. And we need to eat the same thing as our kids eat. And I, I'll say it again, I've said it a thousand times, your kids, if you deprive them of whatever, they're going to find it number one. And then I know multiple cases that have left the home, well, what are they, are they always going to be doing exactly what you told them? No sugar once they're 18 years old and no soda pop and whatever. No, they then have weight issues. They have weight issues because they're afraid of food. They're afraid because their mom told them they can't have it, but then they want it and then they go excessive. And so that's the problem. Yes. And I think one of the greatest things right now is so many people have been told. <laughs> are they we can't, passionate enough? So, so many people are told they can't have bread. We're bringing bread back to everyone. And guess what? I just had another follower that told me that I'm losing weight eating bread. She came and got more flour and she said, I have been afraid of bread my entire life. How many times have we now heard yes, this? Yes, hundreds. And they're eating, they're losing weight. So this is what I'm saying. This Camu bread is not putting weight on. No. And, no. and the thing it about, is. if you want to be clean and you want to live a healthy lifestyle, Honestly, my, my mom didn't have all of this when she was doing this and talking. I mean, you had fresh veggies and you were trying to eat. Like, what did you say? Did you already read this? Eating simple, well, eating clean simply means eating as close to natural as possible, such as throwing in a few raw almonds in a salad. We are um, a decade of getting back to basics. So it's constantly trying to bring in natural and good stuff that's from the earth, right? That you're right. trying to say. But if you want more natural and more amazing, the salt and kamu is where it's at because this is so natural and the flavor on both, that's why we fell in love with the kamu. It's natural and it tastes insane. Like insane. It's mind blowing insane. Taste. So let's talk about what we do. Okay. We first we'll of all get to your stuff. Okay. First of all we eat three times a day. We never miss a meal. And the reason why is because you can never make it to the next. Exactly. So <laughs> you're going to be snacking. I, I can't even tell you how many girls I know that snack throughout the entire day. You're consuming more and you're, you're, grazing. Never, you're, you're grazing. never satisfied. They're, they're making their kids a sandwich and then they're having a little bite of the sandwich. No, make yourself the sandwich. Eat it. Enjoy it. And you'll be full. If you go to Chick-fil-A, eat the kid's meal. Eat 
The kids' meal. The whole thing. The and entire. you'll be satisfied. The thing about the Kamut bread, it keeps you. And this is what my sister tells me all the time. I cannot believe how this bread keeps me full and satisfied. It, it does for hours. It okay, really does. Let's talk about, so eating three times a day. I, we like to eat early in the morning when we get up. Um, we like to eat again at noon. And then we like to eat before 7 at night. This is key. Now, people around the world are eating. In Spain, they're eating at 10 and 11 at night. In Europe, well, often they start their day way later. They, but they start yes. their day later. But one reason why we like to eat before 7 is, is we don't want to eat again after 7. Now, on a consistent basis, you can't do it all the time. But on a consistent basis, this is what you want to do. You want to try to eat before 7. And then you give your body a rest. And you don't eat again for like 12 hours. Do you know what this does for you? Okay, but if you're starving, eat something. You know what I mean? Yes. It's not like we never. No. but This if, is what we try to live by, but it's not like yes, we never do it. Yes. Not, it's not like we're never going to have a cookie. But on a consistent basis... If you can be finished eating by 7 o'clock at night and then not eat again until, until, say, 7 in the morning, do you know how good this is for your body to basically fast that long, to go without food? It's been proven over and over again that it's so good to go. And this is why I always say, too, don't eat unless you're hungry. And, and this is why women, when we go out to lunch, we can't eat a big lunch because we have to be hungry yeah, in order to yeah, run. Yeah, well, you've got to be hungry enough to come home and make the dinner. Exactly. Because your whole family um, is... If, there's a saying, if mama isn't hungry, then nobody's happy because nobody's going to get to eat. And we've said it hungry. multiple times too. If you're not doing it on a consistent basis, then your husband, your kids, they never know when dinner's really going to happen. If they know that there's a meal plan in order, we used to always have our two-week meal plan out. Yes. Because it was like, I... I don't know. I went to school for the social life and then I would be excited for the food that I would come home to. But having a two week meal plan out, have your kids look at it and, and have see, them help make have, plans. you know, so they know that it's dinner and then your husband knows too. Okay. If I do go out today, I'm not going to overeat because I want to be hungry for dinner. And then same goes for you. Okay. Well, I'm going to be eating tonight, so I can't overeat tonight. So anyways. Yes. It's, I, I love having the meal plan out. We always did. Okay. When, there's a couple of things. Okay. Really fast. Um, I totally believe this. I have done keto and macro counting and it's exhausting. I always come back to the food nanny rules and life. I lose more not restricting myself from certain foods. Exactly. 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 You're getting it's it. It's a variety of food. Totally, totally agree. Stop counting calories. Stop counting all I the macros. I need to learn this habit of meal planning. Yes. Well, that is what we're here to do. And our portion control is sort of European um, living <laughs> as well, European portions. But we talk about that in both of our books. We have the portion control down. Um, but basically, everybody's different. So the best rule of thumb is to eat until you're satisfied. And then you push your plate back. And then you'll make it to the next meal. But the key is you need to be hungry for the next meal. And really, you need to I'm feel not it. I really, I'm telling you too, if you ever go out and you just get the kids meal, it's always the best size. We learned that forever ago. ago. Like I'm talking McDonald's. I don't care if you hate McDonald's. Wendy's. It's kind of like the Jim Gaffigan. Everybody knocks <laughs> McDonald's and then it's like they sell how many hamburgers a day. You know how they, that one skit Five where he's trillion. like, yeah. you know, you run into your friend at McDonald's. Oh, I'm just here. Oh, dead. I'm sorry. I'm oh, wow, here. wow. I don't know what I'm doing here. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. Okay. Are you, well, yeah. I love this, mom. Are you not so proud of your daughter? Yes. She is amazing. Me and you know what? She lost all of her weight with four children just by using our meal plan and eating a variety of food. True. Less amounts. Um, I think you probably, did you ever cut out bread during that time? Okay, you cut out that foods. is the only thing. I'm going to check if, this if while you, you talk. If you Please have talk. a lot of weight to lose, so like after I had a baby, I would still have like 65 pounds to lose, seriously. So it was, I had to cut back on bread and and sugar for a little bit but that was only for a little bit i mean not super long 
And somebody's saying what kind of bread. So you need to show them the okay. kamut bread. Yes, Lizzie, I want to show this. It's not quick. super long, but when you've got a lot of weight to lose, it's good to cut back on those. Stickers. I want to show everybody this. This has been in the oven for about 15 uh, minutes, maybe maybe almost 20. And look how Oh, perfect. guys, I can't get all of this. Okay, this is absolutely perfect. This is done right here to perfection. Let me grab another. Um, I can actually put it down on my, on my put more salt. Bowl. It's fine. I don't think it needs it. This is actually done to perfection. If you like I'm it, I'm glad they love McDonald's. <laughs> if you like it a little more, um, a little more roasted. Here's one that shows just a little more roasted, and this is what it looks like if you like it a little more done. So someone said, "I want to start the food nanny. What are what's the first steps?" So the first steps for starting the food nanny is making a meal plan because um, when you're hungry. When you're hungry and you're not sure what you're going to eat, you'll never be able to um, get on <laughs> to get going because you have to know what your meals are yeah. out there. Yeah. So you you make a two week meal plan. Okay, let, let's just show you. We talk about this all the time, but if you sign up for the newsletter, you get two templates. You get a grocery and you get a meal plan template in your email. But we do come up with the two week meal plan that's free if you want to do it. But basically it looks something like this, okay? And the reason we created a two week meal plan is because we just think that a month, a month is, is too way long too long. And a week is too short. And a week is too short. So because you're always doing it. You're always two going weeks back. It's perfect. It's perfect. You have to go back for some fresh things, whatever. So okay, you just do this. So go to the foodnanny.com. And if you see our newsletter, then you sign up for it and you'll instantly get this into your um, email, okay? And then if you wanna look for the meal plan, it's at the foodnanny.com or DM me and I'll send it to you. So basically, it's the easiest thing ever. You go to Monday night, look at this, we've got novels. <laughs> Seven years of hard, hard work. So you go to each theme night, okay? Where's, where's the first page of Monday night? So you go to Monday night and it gives you all the different foods for Monday night. You've got two cookbooks, over 400 recipes that you go through. So you go to Monday night and you're like, okay, what do I feel like? Get your kids involved. You've got all these options. Then you go through. Um, this is what I love about my mom's recipes and this is why I continue to go back. It's never really, for the most part, ingredients that you do not have. Or you haven't house, heard of. That you, or that you, or, have or that you haven't heard of. of, that you're using in your house. You go through, and if you're cooking on a consistent basis, this is why we tell you that you're actually going to be saving so much money, is because you already have those things in the house. You'll go through and you're like, I want to wait, make the white chili. Okay, I already have the cheese, I have the beans, I have the blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm trying to say? So anyways, so you just they, go through. As you go, as you as you make your meal plan, so you go Monday night, comfort food night, you choose something. Say you chose um, something with beef. Say you chose um, beef stroganoff. Then on Tuesday night, um, well, which we're not is- We're gonna go through each yeah, night, but, but yeah, no. You, but then on Tuesday night, which is Italian night, you probably wouldn't want to choose another beef. So we have all this kinds so of- so good. We have all kinds of pastas without um, any meat in them. We have- chicken we have beef we have chicken and beef on in every chapter or net or no meat but in, you know what the beauty of the theme less. nights is too so, is even when we're out to eat we then want that meal that meal. so your your body really does get in this like rhythm groove. and groove of just like okay this is what we eat like it's mexican night we're eating this we're so you just constantly are never eating the same thing back to back, which you're not supposed to be doing. So our rules. Not eating like cheeseburger. Right. So our rules are eat three times a day. Do not eat red meat back to back on a consistent basis. Sure, once in a while it's fine. And the reason why is because red meat doesn't move through you as well. So don't stack red meat back to back. 
that's that's not a good thing to do another rule is we make sure to have plenty of vegetables on the plate make sure that your vegetables and your sides are even more if say you're having beef stroganoff so make sure that you have a little more noodles than like the actual meat and plenty of veggies at least two to three veggies on a plate this one is amazing because this little veggie here is incredible because we've They're got- They're asking if this was three, in your cookbooks. Which one? This one. This one is not. No. This one is not in the cookbooks. But in my cookbooks, on under sides, I'll show you, for instance, in the first um, book, I'll show you how I show That's you. That's very kind. Everybody says they love your cookbooks. The one's been using it for seven years now. Oh my goodness. See, in my That's first so cookbook- That's so nice, Angela. Thank you so much. I show you how to put vegetables together and then I give you all of these ideas. And so I've been doing these different mixes my whole life. Okay, quick, and show the bread, show I, the bread. Um, Somebody wants, they wanna know, please tell me about the bread. Uh, which bread? The Kamut bread. Oh, the Kamut bread. Okay, so do you wanna go show them a loaf? I'll grab the um, flour. Okay, we're dedicating every Friday, by the way, to commute. So tune in for, whoa, the lighting right here. Tune in for, we're gonna make hamburger and hot dog buns from scratch with commute. But anyways, tell them. So this is our commute flour, which is clean and this is- You wanna get clean, this is as clean, clean as you can get. This is about as clean as you can get. These are our little commute loaves right here that we love to make the minis. Um, and. Lizzie, you can go ahead and, and show that. So so basically our our um, all-purpose white Kamut is um, organic. It's pure strain, um, natural, um, ancient grain. I know you've been waiting. We're going to have hot dogs and hamburger buns Friday. It's what we use in everything, every cake, every cookie, every single thing. Someone said... What else can I use Kamut in besides bread? Well, it's actually like the number one question that we get DM'd about because nobody, they think it's only for bread. This is not only for bread. This is the beauty of it. You're using a white wheat, wheat. White, all purpose. Are you hearing that? Flour. It's got wheat. And no joke, it goes into everything. And you won't even believe the taste, all of it. It's incredible. It's so natural. It's so great. We've got to stop in a Getting second. Back to but we're going to join us Friday. Um, somebody said, you guys, we always save our lives. Always, unless they don't save. So go to IGTV, the Instagram TV thing, or it's at thefoodnanny.com. And they go to YouTube, too. So they're always saved. So let's see. So um, let's talk about one more rule. So the food nanny rules there are... There is a regular roll recipe. The turkey rolls are just made into turkeys. Right. That's your regular roll recipe. Get the regular roll. The it's Liz's the crescent. crescent. Liz's crescent rolls. But the thing is, any bread recipe you can make a roll out of. Did you know that? All you have to do is roll it into a ball and place it on a baking sheet or in a 9 by 13 pan and, and let it rise and you have rolls. See, these are the ones that we turned into turkeys, but they're just our normal crescent rolls. Okay, I made Kamut chocolate chip cookies and my husband said they were the best I've ever made. <laughs> Woo! Once you get used to clean exactly. eating and using this flour, you won't be able to go back because it's, it's about as natural as you could ever get with it never been modified, pure strain, organic, authentic ancient grain it's amazing yeah. it will change your life so just quickly let's go through the food nanny rules we say to cook five nights a week take two days off if you can't do five then start with three start cooking with three and then eat three times a day don't eat red meat back to back eat plenty of vegetables include fruits try to include fish if you don't like fish then just eat meatless eat more vegetables and say, you know, some sides to go with vegetables or some soups that have um, no meat in it. But we need to eat a couple, one or two times a week without meat because that's good for us and more vegetables. So plenty of vegetables on your plate. 
Um, I don't care if they're frozen, fresh, or canned because it's nice to rotate those. Because when they go in, into the can, they go into that can fresh. when they're prime. Prime and fresh. Prime. <laughs> and they're flash frozen fresh. And sometimes the fresh is not even as fresh as what we can get in the freezer. Once we start going to our farmer's markets around or our, get the, the produce out of our gardens, we have something called locavore, which means buying it within 100 miles of our homes. That's what we're talking fresh. We can't always get that. So there's nothing wrong with sometimes use, having a canned vegetable, having a frozen and a fresh. I used to do that yes. when the kids I were growing do. up. I still do. I still do. It's great. It's okay, good. let's answer this really quick. We have a warehouse in Salt Lake City, 4100 Southwest Temple. If you want to go to any of the other pickups, you have to text them. Do not order online. If you order online, then it will be shipped to you. But you can go at thefoodnanny.com too. Yes, Get but you can here. order online. You can order online, yes, but if you want to go pick it up, yes. then you just need to text them and don't order it online. Yes. Okay, keep cooking. Your, Your family, family is worth it. it. Yes. Sorry for screaming our that. Books, <laughs> our books are all about you guys, getting, these veggies. getting families back to the mom, dinner table. <laughs> Putting Love the priority. You. <laughs>